Hi, so today's video is an Amazon unboxing, um, Harry Potter Amazon unboxing. So I just ordered a few bits to add to my collection from Amazon. So as you can see, I have already just gone and um, opened it just to make sure it was the right things that were delivered. Um, so I've got four things in this box. Let's get on into this and get them out so it's just move the paper. Okay, so you can see in here the contents. So we've got um, two books and two of these minifigures. So we'll start with these. And I'm just going to put the box on the floor and get those minifigures. Okay, so here are the um, minis that I got. And so you can see I've got a Fantastic Beast one and a Harry Potter one. They're both deluxe mega kits and they're both made by Running Press. So we'll start off with this one. So I have um, just cut these already. So this is Newt's case. This is the front of the box. Back. Oh, the side, sorry. The back. With the description. And then that side. And that's just like the serial number, I guess. So let's get the case out. And then the book chain. Okay. This is the box empty. So it just comes with this product information sheet. It tells you about how to replace batteries, battery safety, keep batteries out of reach children, stuff like that. Um, and then we get this little book which we're going to look like Newt's Newt's journal A brief guide to Newt's commander and the beasts Fantastic Beasts And then it says Fantastic Beasts on the back It's got white twine That's Newt's logo So this just has a little information book Newt's commander, Eddie Redmayne The actor Niffler. Yeah, this has got some cool pictures of some of the beasts. Yes, yeah, so there's not really much writing in that, it's all just mostly picture based in that book. And then we have in here the case so there um there's a plastic tab that you pull out of there which i've already pulled that out just to make sure that that works and then this is the case so there's like the buckles there's a little the handle nothing on the top Got quite a bit of detail on there, and then when you open this one up, it's, it doesn't open any wider than that. And it's just some of the pause and the noise of the beast trying to escape and I think as well if you look at one of the pictures that looked like like yeah so that is meant to be what that is so that's quite cute so I'm just going to display that on a shelf somewhere not quite decided on that yet 
we'll put them over there for now and let's move on to the Hogwarts castle and um, so this is a um, Hogwarts castle in sticker book and it lights up um, which I thought was quite cute so on the picture it does look quite nice and detailed and there's another view of it then just a description there's that side it says running press again and then let's get into this so I don't want to in I've already put this one as well So this one, again we've got one of these product information, increased assembly, battery safety. Oh. Yep, so that's the information, don't really need that. And then we get the from the films of Harry Potter, Hogwarts Castle. And this is just like um, stickers with images of the castle. Sorry, the lighting's quite hard to see. Apologies if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. There's the Great Hall. There's Hogwarts with snow. Another one of it at night. Well, not in that. Oh, that one looks like it's like a, a paint oil painting sort of look to it. I don't know if you can tell. If the camera's picking that quality up. Well, that's like an oil painting. And a bit of the from the other side of the Quidditch pitch. More of the ground with the maze. I've worked with the weather, like cloudy weather. Oh yeah, so they're all just stickers that you can see the line. So I'm going to keep all of them in there. I'm not going to use any of them. And I'll just like sort of display that book with the castle on the shelf. So the castle comes with separate pieces. So I just need to put this together. So here's the main piece and then the like turrets are here so it doesn't get damaged so we just need to pop them on right. get these? Oh, there we go. okay no these have got um like a little notch and then There's um can you can see it? Yeah, there's like a little notch here. So that will just line up on there, press that on. And then I believe this one is the same. But yeah, there's like a little notch there. And then there there's a little notch. Right, this one's a bit more difficult to get on. Bear with me. Okay, so I've managed to get these on now. So, like the this base and the these bits of the castle are metal, and then these two bits are plastic. So it's quite they're quite delicate, and this bit is really like. The number door's office bit is really thin. Oh, that doesn't look like it's on properly. But it it is on there. So that's this 
tassel and then the sides that's it from the back well oh, that really does look wonky that is how it goes on hmm. and then that side and so this one does light up so this is the base of it so it's got these little foam bits so it doesn't scratch because that is hard and this one doesn't have the pull tab it's just got this on off switch so I'll just turn it on so it does come already with batteries in there and then let me just move my camera down so you can see that all lit up they bring the lights make quite a nice effect make it like there's um, a glow coming from the castle which is quite nice so I bet when um, the lights are off and that's on a shelf that'll look quite cute in the evening I'll try and get some shots of that later to show you what that looks like so let's just put this back up here yeah so these are the items that two figure items that I got so let's move on to the other bits that I got and next up I got this book so um, from the films of Harry Potter, the Marauder's Map Guide to Hogwarts, and this is by Scholastic, and it comes with um, a wand pen. Um, so let's just take this out. Okay. So, let's take this this out so this one it's got a pen in there that's one of the pens with like the invisible ink and then a blue light as well and so let's just open on up the book and show a few pages so as you open it up that's the first page and then the contents Welcome to Hogwarts, Marauder's Map, Hogwarts Castle, Common Room, it's the grounds, secrets beyond the map. So it just gives a bit of information and then it um, tells you about the Marauders. So we've got, I might use this wand, um, Sirius Black, Padfoot, James Potter, Prongs, Rumus Lupin, It's Mooney, and Peter Pettigrew. It's Wormtail, and they're the um, what they can turn into. Um, so they're like all these three are Animagus, and then he, he's actually a werewolf. And then just gives you information there. Hogwarts Castle and then the Great Hall. A few bits to find in here. And then there are these pages here where we can use the um, wand lights of this. So I don't know how well the camera will pick this up. But I can't find any at the minute. Ah, yeah, so. I don't know if you can see, there's like, that one's really bad, let me try and make it a bit darker. Yeah, so there's like footprints that come from here, so you can follow them. Oh, I've lost them. Where are they? Well, okay, I lost those footprints. And then... On bits like it says 
think so it's quite hard to see on the camera. And then, no, oh, you can't see that. Yeah, and like across the pages there's various different things. So you kind of have to find, see if you can find all the bits on there. And I believe there's like another page like that as well. Just with bits of information and facts. Hospital wing, bathroom, astrology tower, the library. Headmaster's office and the clock tower. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah, it says, what, what magical things would you keep in your office if you were a headmaster or headmistress? Draw them here. Um, so then I guess that's what you could draw with your pen. Um, get and then we'd shine the light and sort of be able to see I don't want to do anything just yet um, oh the rainy staircase I won't go through too much more because if you want me to do like a full flip through of this I can um, yeah here's just another another page where oh that seems right in there. I imagine more things to find and follow. Um, um, yeah, so then just going to like some creatures information. And then another page. With some more things on it and then this final one this last page is just blank so this is where you can it's got slide down as well and this has just got some information on the wand light and then you can draw things on there and shine it so let me just write a cool message oh and you can this is like um so you can take this out. So. Oh no. Right, I don't know where I wrote that now. Yeah. So I just wrote hi. Because I'm that inventive. But yeah, that's this book. The Marauders Map Book. I just thought that was quite. Quite cool, quite different, gives you a bit more information on the Marauders map and on Hogwarts, which is nice. So that's what on, let me get my next book now. So this is the final book that I got this time. So from the Harry Potter film, no, from the film of Harry Potter, A Pop-Up Guide to Hogwarts. This is by Matthew Reinhardt and illustrated by Kevin M. Wilson. So it just came in this plastic. Let's get this out. Okay, so comes with this on the back of it. So there's like a little information. And then it just gives you an overview of the book. And then it says it folds out into a map which I'm going to try and do, but I don't actually know if I've got the space for that, but we'll just have a little run through this. So, this front cover, absolutely stunning. Okay, we'll just open up this first one. Oh my god, I can't even get it in. Shot, let me just try and move the camera, hold on. Okay, so I've just brought this down onto the floor. Um, so you can see this a bit better. So this is the first page. So it's got just the Hogwarts castle, and then there's like bits like this where you can 
pull the tabs and the door opens so you can sort of see. Oh. Okay, we can't really see. Into the entrance. No, this is a cool one. Let's see if this works. Yeah, and then you've got Dumbledore in there. Um, and then there's also, also pulling out bits like this, so it's quite hard 100. It's not gonna look, I can't do it with one hand. Yeah, well they're all like images from the film, so the actors from the films and things. And then there's another one here. So again, I'm not going to go through everything in this at the minute, but if you want um, a full unboxing review of it then I can do that. So the pages on this book are really thick just because each page is a pop-up page. So this is another part of the castle. That's quite cool and then there's like little things like this. More pop arts. Defense against the dark arts teachers. That's quite cool. And Dobby. Okay, I'm going to put that one back in there. The Quidditch pitch. This is Hogsmeade. Lord of the map. I'm not quite sure how how this one pulls out. I'm gonna have to be very careful with it. Um Let's just have a look in here. I'm going to show you the inside. That's quite delicate and hard to do with one hand, so that's why I'm not able to show you the best at the moment. It's not got the best setup, but then the bit of forest, Lord Anglia, Hagrid's a little hut there. And that's the final page. And then you can see as this bit, that's like um, the back of the book. But you can undo that, obviously, so you can get it all out and join together. So I'm going to try and do that now, see if I've got the space. I'll just give you a quick look at that. Okay, so that's all the pages folded out together. So that was actually quite hard to get out. Um, so I would say if you wanted to get this for kids definitely don't let them pull this out on their own as it is quite hard it's quite delicate and intricate um, and if you want you pop it, if you wanted to keep it popped out you'd need to like put something like weights and things on it sort of keep it in place and then you can sort of sort out all these like bits and make it look like this bit for example it's like falling down but yeah if you have it popped up and you're going to keep it out or like use it or look through it like this then you can sort of res well not reshape it but like mold it back together as a and such yeah, it's very quite very cool book. A lot of information. It's fun, interactive. There's lots of like neat little bits in there. Um, 
would say yeah it's great for kids but don't leave them to it on their own if you did want to get this for kids definitely they would need to be supervised because it could quite easily tear and get ruined and there's obviously a lot of pulley bits like a lot of bits that can pull out and a lot of bits that can't that may look like they can and um, so definitely would say supervision is needed on this one if it's for the kids so I'm just going to try and pack it all back up and sort everything out and then I will be back so we're over to my shelves now so I've just put Newt's case and the book there and then the Hogwarts castle and that little book behind it and so this isn't Harry Potter film related shelf I do have like all these pops I love these little globe light things and then these three were um, pop key rings but I just take the key ring holes out because I think they look quite cute because you can't really like from front on you can't see the holes I think they're quite cute but yeah I've just put them on this shelf for now um, but yeah I don't actually have like a dedicated Harry Potter set of shelves or anything with films or the books in here because this is my like DVD and Blu-ray unit I've got a couple of books down there but then my Harry Potter films are all in here um, in this massive box so it's quite hard to get like to them because I have to get this out every time and yeah but in our like we're going to move house next year so I want to I'll make like a full hopefully have like a room where it'll be like office slash movie room and game room sort of thing um where I can put all of this stuff and I can make actually a dedicated Harry Potter section included on my books because they're stored in a different cupboard in my dining room at the minute um, so I'll go and show you that in a second yeah but this is where these are for now I think they look quite cute on this shelf even though it's an absolute mess but yeah I think they look quite cute on there and I'll just go and show you the books now as well so I've just put them in this shelf this is where I keep like my big thick big books um there's that pop-up one this one so it's absolutely massive and then there's the guide book and that's just in here with all my other big books and so I've got some Disney ones as well, um, Twilight one, Random one, Marvel and Mickey Mouse and then some Disney books up there. And then this is just the rest of this shelf. Oh, I've put the um, thingy boxes in there so I've kept the boxes for them just for transporting things but yeah this is where these books will be living for now and i'll see you in my next video thank you Bye.